All right, so this is uh, the Pandora from the Open Pandora guys. It finally got to me. Um, so they're starting to ship out pretty fast now. There's a uh, 500 that went out last week, another 500 500 going out this week. <clears throat> so we'll just do a quick overview. Everything that's pretty awesome about it. My one complaint that I have about it, and that's it. So without further ado, this is everything. So you have your two SD card slots. I'll show you what the PND system loads up. This is your volume slider, left, lower, right, higher. Uh, three and a half millimeter audio jack, power switch. Um, you have the stylus right here. Uh, fits in very snugly. Uh, when you first get your console, you'll notice that it's extremely hard to pull it out. But after constantly doing it, it kind of like wears wears itself out. You break it in, but it's still in there really, really good. It's not, definitely not going anywhere. Um, yeah, so there's that. On the back, you have your USB on the go port, your extension port, so you have UART and TV out and some other junk. Uh, this is your USB host port. This is a lanyard hole. This is a PSP charger. You can do stuff like keyboard and mouse, USB hub, uh, external hard drive, a lot of cool stuff with the USB hub mode. You can charge via both the USB on the go port and the PSP charger. This is just a standard PSP charger, so anything you buy, they do give you one, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, this is a mini USB, not micro USB. You can charge via that. If you can hear this, um, it sh you should be able to hear that on the on the camera. Um, when I originally got my Pandora, this it didn't click. Uh, it was it was actually felt stiff. So I actually had to uh, open this up. Underneath the battery right here was a screw. I just had to loosen that a little bit, and then this kind of just clicked into place. And I don't know if I unscrewed it or what happened, but the battery is kind of bulging out a little right here, um, but I have three Pandoras, and none other exhibit this issue, so I don't know if it's just with me unscrewing it, just that this would work, or or what, but um, every Pandora is kind of unique in that way, I guess, so there's that. This is the power light, obviously, uh, it would be a little bit dimmer if it was in a uh, standby mode, but it's not. Wi-Fi would be a red LED, and your SD card writes, I believe, show up here, write and read is a green LED, Wi-Fi is red. Uh, I don't know if NAND lights up any of these LEDs. I haven't checked Bluetooth yet, which one it goes on. Um, but Wi-Fi works perfectly. Everything works perfectly, um, and the system is pretty awesome. I'm actually going to show you the controls and some other stuff, but right now I just wanted to keep it on so you could see that it turns on. Uh, right now I'm running Hotfix 5, uh, and what that does is it also turns off the LCD instead of the backlight. So when I close this, you can see the LCD backlight goes off, but the LCD panel actually turns off as well so we save a little bit more power with hotfix 5 they have beta 2 out now i haven't installed that yet but we'll get to that so right now you can see my left analog nub kind of controls the mouse right analog nub left is left click down is middle click and right is right click i believe they chose that because uh... in the pnd system one of the things that you can do is uh... map uh... configuration files to certain stuff so when you load up um, let me show you. So I'm, I'm here, I'm moving around, and if I go here, I don't have anything yet. So I can actually show you the, the cool jazz that is uh, the pin system. So I'll just jack this guy in. Satisfying. You can see that little guy reading away. He's in there. Uh, my SD card comes up. So if I go in here, all my stuff loads up which is really really awesome so your system actually lives on the SD card so no matter where you go if your Pandora dies or whatever you're waiting for everything all of your data is pretty much on here you don't really want to put anything on the NAND too much um, because your system like I said lives on here it's a really really cool feature so uh, let me just load this up real quick um, 64. so you can see my left analog moves the mouse I go into it and my mouse no longer works because now these are mapped to the analog sticks well, analog sticks and C buttons, uh, but yeah, I can't do anything um, unless you know I can either you know use the touch screen and then quit that way. And when I do, uh, I have access to the mouse again. So let me show you another cool thing. Uh, the controls are excellent. I am in love with them. Uh, probably one of the better handheld controls I've ever used. Let me demonstrate. Okay, I do apologize. I'm kind of looking through my LCD viewfinder, so if I'm kind of like fumbling around here, it's because I'm not looking at the right place. But I'm going to try to look at it whenever I can. Um, back up and do this a little bit more. Yeah. 
so you can see the shoulder buttons work. Yeah, so the controls work really well. I'm very happy with them. Um, could have this. Um, the keyboard is really nice. Let me show you something that runs really well with the keyboard. So this is ScumVM version 12.0, I believe. Uh, we'll load up this one. This is an AGI game. Scum 12 also included uh, SCI support, as well as all the other games that they run now. Um, this is everything in Scum just works perfect. Um, I haven't really, so let me just type this out, you can see it, yep, Roger Wilco. Let me speed this up a bit. If you remember playing these games old school, um, if you press F3, the text you input would come right back. So all that stuff still works and works awesome. Let me load up something else. Uh, whoops! Let me go to the launcher. And load that back up. All right. Space goes four. And you can see some AGI stuff. Skip it. And it's just, uh, of course, again, change speed. But again, SCI support, as far as I can tell, I mean, I haven't gone very far into it, but it seems to be working just fine. Really well. Support still works perfect. Um, turn the launcher, uh, and obviously it plays scum games just perfectly. Very colorful. So that scum scum works awesome. It looks great on the LCD. So so far I've told you everything I really liked about the uh, the Pandora. Uh, I mean, it's running a full, you know, Linux. It's uh, running, running everything. Actually, let me show you that real quick. Uh, so I can actually go to the terminal, load that up, and just press stop, and you can see everything. I'm not really too sure how the uh, caching system in Linux works, so I don't know exactly how much is free, if that's the correct amount or not. Um, but I mean, even though by today's standards, the generation, uh, the hardware. In the Pandora isn't up to snuff with what's coming out, uh, what's out now, and what's out coming out currently. Everything still runs very, very well. So um, there is something to be said about that. The only problem I have, actually, uh, hardware-wise, um, with the Pandora is the screen. And I will show you something that I think can demonstrate it pretty well. So here's Metroid for Nintendo, and when I move, you'll see that there is a, a definite tearing issue going on. 
It's like a ghosting, not tearing, sorry, a ghosting issue. Um, so, if you look right here, when I move around, you can see the, you can definitely see the ghosting. I mean, you, this camera has to be able to pick it up. The problem is, is that the screen just can't keep up with the rapid change from light to dark. So you get this kind of faded look across the screen, and if you're moving, you can see it down here. Uh, kind of just becomes like a, a blob and doesn't retain its same uh, the definition anymore. Um, just to show you um, what the difference looks like, um, let me put it out of that. That's actually another cool feature I get to show you. I'll show you later. Um, if I go to the Epic 4G, which is the Galaxy S series, and using Super AMOLED, I'll go to Metroid. Load that up. And if you look in here, you can see that you don't see that tearing issue. Well, sorry, ghosting issue. Everything is just, is just keeping up perfectly. So, um, yeah. Uh, close. Like I said, um, that is basically the only issue I have with the Pandora. The really nice thing about the Pandora is obviously the controls are, are really nice. I, I really recommend them. They're probably the best handheld game uh, controls I've ever used, ever. Um, I have had better D-pads for consoles, but I mean, still, it's very, very good. Um, everything else feels pretty solid. I had to just tweak the the shoulder buttons just to get them to work. The, these keys feel fine. It takes a little bit to get used to them, but once you start pounding on them for a little while, you start to getting used to it. Um, I'm still not too confident. Like, when I push down onto it, I'm not really so confident that it's there. Um, Software-wise, there's still some rough edges, um, but, you know, they're constantly working on that, and that's something that can be fixed and you know, kind of perfected, you know, not make, you know, Surfer is never done, um, but it gets better. The only problem I have with the Pandora, like I said, is the screen. It's still beautiful, works great, it's a nice touch screen, um, plays a lot of things fine, it's just that anything that with, uh, high amounts of contrast in the screen will, uh, definitely show some ghosting going on. So, um, that's it for the written review. You can go to our site on brainlazy.com, which is, you either probably saw this video through brainlazy, uh, if you didn't, you saw it through YouTube, head on over to brainlazy.com. It's in the description field. You can click on the link just for some more pictures and for a more thorough written review. Uh, we'll try to keep it updated every now and again. I believe that's everything. I'm already at 13 minutes, so I should really end this thing right now. Um, all in all, fantastic system. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, everyone else should start, you know, getting them now. They're starting to appear a lot, a lot more now. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.